Let's talk. All the pins at once. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I feel like one of them. Uh, I feel like, I feel like I'm on on my uh, guru YouTuber time. Better yet, hold on. Make sure y'all go check out Stream Beats. <laughs> Now I'm playing. I, I messed with Harris Heller, by the way. Uh, Alpha Gamer, shout out to them. But on a serious note, you know, I was looking at the analytics of my channel. Now, my gaming videos do pretty well as far as likes and stuff, views wise. They do all right. They do as good as they normally do. But honestly, I see, I see like, the reaction videos, like not reaction videos, but like commentary videos, the Resident Evil showcases, all the videos where it takes commentary or like the unboxings too. Basically, like the tier list, those type of videos get more views. So. I thought why not do something more of them and plus by me doing these type of videos I can also get more content out so today guys we're gonna be discussing uh, I don't know how I titled it but things you shouldn't do as a small content creator I think it's like two to three things but honestly me I'm just gonna run down this list I made in my head because I thought this would be a good idea because these are things I actually did so from personal experience I can tell you how terrible they are all right but anyways number one so the first thing I would say is quantity over quality down when you're first starting off and this is for like very be beginners by the way not like or any it could be for anybody but primarily i'm talking of when you're first starting off so when i was first starting off like it wasn't that in my mind i knew quality over quantity was like the thing to go for at the same time i thought it was but what i would do is i would put so much effort into starting like towards the end of the video i would do terrible or the other way around like i would just get lazy in the middle of the process and i just post it opposed to like actually trying to perfect the video and then i would just post it out or i would edit it but not to the best that it could be edited so i'm like well so in my mind i'm like technically i'm editing it so technically it's still quality just because you edit does not make it quality just because you edit a bunch doesn't make it quality okay like you gotta have a bit of a personality and i know it's coming from me the stale grammar the stalest man alive on youtube but you know it's really key to have a personality when you um you're doing this and with personality not even having one but just developing the one you have you don't have to change yourself because then you make this persona and you got to keep up with it all the time it's too much work man you know but you just gotta find what's best in your personality and make up with it but that's not the point so when you're like constantly just posting which is a good thing but you have to keep in mind once your videos go to more people you got to think of it like this right somebody told me every video is like a first impression so basically your goal is to capitalize off of those people that come to your video so essentially what every video you post could be the first time somebody ever sees you and then they see that and then they won't click on and then you know like this things like that you got to treat every video like it's your last all right and the next top it is i'm gonna say it fancy for y'all okay investing before you're invested so what i mean by this is there's nothing wrong with buying equipment and gear that's perfectly fine even if it's a hobby like if you make money like that then i guess like do what you want because at the end of the day it is like it is your hobby but i'm talking about this is when i was younger i didn't have a job when i was younger obviously so this is when i was like way younger like back in the day when i had a blue snowball uh when i was younger i just used all the money that was saved up and bought all this stuff which some of it was useful and some of it was just to buy like for example my blue snowball i got because i got a really good grade on like the sll that or like the school examinations for the end of the year in order for you to pass uh i got uh over an advanced score so that's why i got that but after that point i was just upgrading pointlessly um like for example i bought a blue yeti just because i seen it and everybody else had it but there was no real reason for me to upgrade i still had 200 subs it wasn't gonna give me no more subs that's what you gotta understand equipment does not make you to an extent so like i'm thinking like i'm about to get this and it was for no reason like now i'm not getting any more equipment till i hit certain milestones like i said i wasn't gonna get a new camera to a thousand i changed that because boy them cameras just big 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 bucks so what i'm trying to get is the big brands yeah so i also bought the i'm not gonna count my pc because you could game on that like stuff that you could use outside of content creation is different that's totally fine i'm talking about things like that like the camera i'm not mad i upgraded well i had to upgrade the camera because the other one was broken but it wasn't that bad um what else did i get pointlessly uh the microphone the elgato that was kind of pointless because I only, I only use it to record console gameplay and even though i really want it was something i really wanted and that's the thing if it's something you really want go ahead and get it but i'm just saying from a perspective it's not going to draw you in more views okay but if it makes you internally happy which is what it did to me yeah but if you don't got money like that like to me it wasn't like looking back on it, it wasn't smart but at the same time i didn't have it like anything to worry about because me i'm just young i just got this money from people that i saved for months and months and months so yeah but i would say make sure you pick if you're gonna upgrade choose wisely and if you don't have the money to don't just go out and doing it really try to match your upgrades with milestone like if you're starting off let's say you say when i get the 100 subs i'm gonna get a new webcam when you do that one it feels more rewarding to me 
and two it'll make more sense because you have more viewers and it's also cool for the viewers to see the process of dang he had this right it's cool for the viewers to see how your video quality go goes up over the years and how it changes you know like it's dope i'm not gonna lie if you were coming in and be like damn you got a new camera boy you looking in 4k we caught you in 4 you know this it's cool <laughs> All right, now my third one, this one's actually pretty important. It is not, how do I, how, I'm gonna word this right. Not going on other, not growing on other platforms, not building an audience on other platforms. So at the time there was not TikTok, so I'm not gonna say this, but when I was younger, I, I literally focused all my gems, put all my eggs in the basket of YouTube. And by the way, I'm not no big YouTuber, okay? <laughs> but I'm just saying like in general, I put all my eggs in one basket and I literally tried to just grow exclusively on YouTube, which is kind of a bad thing in the long run because it's not a bad thing, but it's like, if you don't get that big on YouTube, let's say like, like, cause this, if you get like a million subs, you'll probably be known. But like literally right now, if like I say this all the time, if like, and this is my fault, if I literally, my YouTube channel gets deleted, like as far as YouTube, nobody will ever know I exist. And that's not a good thing, which is why we're, I'm building audiences elsewhere. But I say it's wise personally for me, like, especially now when you have TikTok, TikTok's algorithm is great, by the way, if you do what you need to do, you can pull a dollar views easily. So I would say like go on TikTok, make a TikTok, post YouTube clips on it. Just try to put your content on other platforms so that people from other places can come there and grow. You never know. You could blow up on Facebook, TikTok. Don't like, don't obviously get social medias you don't want, but I'm saying get plat, like use Twitter. For example, I use Instagram. I post my clips on Instagram sometimes. I post most of them on TikTok, but I used to pick the best one for Instagram. And then um, on Twitter, I sometimes post on there, but I don't really, I, I, I'm, Twitter's hard. It's just hard. But yeah, if you can, I would say, make sure to post your content on more than one place so that you have a potential to grow more places. You bring in different types of people, different types of audiences, and it makes it easier. Cause if you're just on one spot, it's gonna be hard for people to find you pretty much. You know, like if you're on TikTok, they'd be like, dang, I seen this cool YouTuber. You see, just stuff like that. Cause I've had a lot of people find me from TikTok. <laughs> um a good amount of people from this channel and same thing on instagram at one point but you know you just gotta put your eggs and distribute your eggs in different baskets okay i feel i don't know what what's wrong with me bro <laughs> fourth one i say i'm gonna I, i'm gonna drop a fourth one in there it's not necessarily uh what this is something a lot of small youtubers do is they give up so do not give up now i'm not gonna lie to you i've given up several times not recently recently i just took a break but i've given up in the past several times like there's one point i stopped posting for like three months because i wasn't seeing any views and honestly that's not the way to go look let me tell you something let me tell you something all right, y'all, when you, first of all, when you quit, you come back, unless you're like Corey Kenshin or something, you're not getting more views, you're gonna get drastically less views, and two, just because it's not going your way in the start doesn't mean it won't go to your way you're in. If you keep working, look, man, I've been making videos for eight years. Eight whole years, honestly, and I've only gotten a thousand subs. Now, that's not a lot, because nowadays people be hitting a thousand subs in like two weeks, <laughs> but just because, just because, I didn't, you know, I feel like I'm successful in my own way because I, like without any help and just strictly off of YouTube, I grinded hard enough to hit a thousand subscribers, if that makes sense. And that's really what matters most to me. Now, granted, now everybody's gonna have success at the same speed and that's gonna be the next tip, but that's gonna be, I'm gonna have some that correspondent. So don't measure others' accomplishments from your own, if that makes sense. Okay, don't give up. Just because your views aren't going in, they'll eventually come in and also don't let, because like, you gotta keep in mind, YouTuber, you gonna have low weeks. Like some weeks you gonna get less than like five views. I'm just saying, if you're a small YouTuber, some days you gonna get like 20 and you can't get discouraged. Just think of what you did wrong. Make sure to assess your videos. If there's nothing wrong with your video, maybe that's just not the content that your audience is interested in, which is perfectly fine. Just do a different one and uh, just don't stress yourself too much because that's the thing a lot of people do and you get to, you could get easily discouraged from it so don't necessarily overthink it because at the end of the day right now at least it's probably your hobby so just have fun with it you know don't stress it out you want to have fun with it at least because if you're not having fun people will tell honestly like i and it, it's crazy like you could tell when a youtuber is not having fun it's like you could tell they just little things about body language and the way they like act in on the camera you could tell if it's fun or not no matter how you know no matter how they try to play it off as it's not number five um this one do not let other people's successes discourage you this goes with discouragement a little more but give other people their flowers like i know some people right i don't well i don't know no but like i know i've known people that i know this guy that's got like a million 
followers on TikTok. He just started. I've been making videos and doing content for eight years, and he just blew up. But I'm not, at the end of the day, I'm not jealous of him. And I don't know, and I'm not gonna say his name, and I don't know him like that either, but I talked to him like twice, so that's why I'm gonna be out here like fake flexing or whatever. But just because, and it's not even him, there's, I know other people too. Like there's this other dude that got like a thousand subs to be getting mad views and he started YouTube like two years ago. Like stuff happens, okay? At the end of the day, give him your flowers, your time will come eventually. Don't let other people's the successes discourage you from what you wanna do. Just because they got there faster doesn't mean anything. Maybe them getting there faster could have been a bad thing because you know, the like quicker you blow up. Well, let's say if you blow up off a video instead of building your audience, opposed to building your audience over time, generally there's more loyalty. So don't stress out stress yourself out your content is good i hope it is i mean you could you should be able to tell be honest with yourself by the way uh your content is good okay and it will eventually get somewhere you just got to keep pushing keep working um you know necessarily it's like don't worry about what the next man's eating on his plate eat what's on your plate and then keep grabbing you know what I'm saying? keep going this is a terrible analogy oh my god bro somebody get their man but yeah don't worry about what somebody else is doing just keep your head down and keep it pushing and if it's your friend that's blowing up or whatever congratulate them keep it going keep it pushing don't ever get jealous jealousy is a strong thing that could kill a lot of relationships and vibes and stuff so don't be jealous just keep working your time will come okay and uh, everybody's meant for certain names so you might be you, you might you're you might be meant to come up a different way and then you end up getting discouraged and quitting right before you come up or you feel what I'm saying so like I said the last two times to each other don't get discouraged and don't let other people's successes discourage you by the boom bam pow yes sir oh, no, I'm, I'm corny bro I got the glasses on I don't know how to act <laughs> But nah, seriously though, um, hope y'all enjoyed this video, these type of videos. I probably will never make one like this again unless it does really, uh, not really well, but unless it does decent. I probably will never do a video like this again, but I do appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to like it. Okay, forget that, all right. Make sure you give this video a like, comment some questions, q and I might do a QA. and a Also, my friend Mark and I have a podcast called I Know You Can Podcast. The link is down below in the description. And you could also, the questions you ask will be put in the podcast. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure to do all that. You know, go click down there. Follow me on Twitch because I stream every Friday at 8. It's actually stream tomorrow for when this video will come out. And, uh, well, really today because y'all going to see it the next day, but I'm going to post it like it. Anyways, I'll see y'all in a little bit about